Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther, and if you're looking for someone who can keep a year's worth of trash in a mason jar, then bye, I'm not your girl. But if you're looking for someone who wants to change the world one decision at a time, then stick around. This week's video is a follow-up from last week's video. I did a toothbrush, so you need a toothpaste to go with it. There are three different kinds of toothpaste that I could find. The first one is these pills. They literally look like pills. And the second one is the closest to a traditional toothpaste, but it comes in a metal tube. And then the third one is a powder toothpaste. So the first one I actually tried at a friend's house. She had charcoal pill toothpaste. You put them in your mouth, crush it up, and then wet your toothbrush and then brush your teeth. I think that's how I did it. I hated it. It was really gritty feeling. It did not feel like it cleaned my teeth. Whenever you're doing it, it just kind of gets everywhere, which I guess would be fun if you're a kid. But as an adult, it was just kind of chaotic and gross. I just didn't feel like it was actually doing anything. So I would not recommend it only because it didn't work for me, but give it a shot. Maybe it might work for you. So the second one and what this video is mostly going to be about is about this toothpaste. It's called David toothpaste. There are some pros and some cons. Let's get started with the bad. I want to get that out of the way so we can talk about the fun stuff. So there are two things that I would deem as bad. The first one is the fact that it doesn't have fluoride in it. Your girl is not a dentist, but I think fluoride is really important for people who get cavities a lot. It's kind of controversial in like the eco-friendly natural world because for a toothpaste to have fluoride in it, it has to have this label that says anybody under six years of age swallows it. You have to call poison control. So you can see why people who are trying to be natural don't want poison in any other product. That's why this doesn't have fluoride in it. The company did say that they may have a version in the future that includes fluoride because obviously they want to cater to as many people as possible. But as of right now, they're not going to be adding it anytime soon. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to have it or a bad thing not to have it. It's more of a personal preference. If you're a person that wants fluoride in your toothpaste, I don't think this is the right option for you. The second thing I would deem as bad is the price point. I think a regular tub of toothpaste is like $3.50. I know that there are some brands that are a little more expensive, but I think the average cost is like $3.50. This is almost like seven or eight, maybe even $9. So I understand that it is an investment to buy this. If you aren't in a situation where you can give those extra dollars, then by all means, give the other two options a try. I think they're much more affordable. But if you are in a place where you want to invest a little bit more in your toothpaste, you want it to be closer to a traditional toothpaste, then I recommend David Toothpaste. Oh, that sounded like a commercial. This isn't sponsored. Now for the fun stuff. The best part about it, of course, is the fact that it is recyclable. It comes in an aluminum tube and then it has a metal metal little thing up here. I don't even know what this is called. It helps you be able to get every single ounce of toothpaste out of this thing, which is amazing, especially for the cost. Then it's got a plastic top, which I don't think you can recycle this, but I would check with your local recycling just to make sure. The second great thing about it is the ingredients. If you are someone who uses traditional toothpaste and you're getting sores in your mouth often, the reason is because those toothpastes have something called SLS. Not a scientist, but I do know that SLS is a type of sulfate that causes irritation in the mouth, and that's where you're getting sores. This does not include that ingredient. So they make it without sulfates. If you're one of those people, I would highly recommend giving this a try. They also don't use any artificial ingredients or artificial colorings. There are two versions of this toothpaste. This one is peppermint and charcoal. And then there's another version that's just peppermint. I've tried both of them and they're both great. This one is just more of my favorite because of the charcoal. Charcoal is supposed to help with stains. So this is more of like a whitening toothpaste. As a mom, I'm really excited that this also can be used for kids. I mean, my kid's five months old, so it's not like he's going to be brushing his teeth tomorrow. But in the future, it's really good to know that I can use our toothpaste on him as well, instead of having to buy an additional toothpaste just for him. So if he swallows this, it's completely okay. The last great thing about it is that it is made in the USA. So you are supporting an American made company, which is super exciting. Before I go on to the last type of toothpaste, I did want to say I also tried a brand called Goodwell, I think and they had a toothpaste that was traditional kind of like this one. I wasn't a fan. I'm not saying anything bad about the company. It's just toothpaste wasn't a good fit for us. It didn't really foam up at all. It kind of just made it feel like I wasn't cleaning my teeth very well. And I don't know if the peppermint that they use in the toothpaste wasn't as strong or maybe they didn't put as much, but my breath never really smelled minty. I mean, it didn't smell bad. It just didn't smell minty. I really wanted to still feel fresh when I brushed my teeth. So I wouldn't recommend them. I'm not saying you shouldn't try them. I'm just saying it wasn't a good fit for me. So it's not something that I would feel comfortable recommending, but I did want to mention it just in case you guys were wondering what other brands I've tried. The last one is powder toothpaste and I've never tried that kind. So if you guys have tried it, let me know. Maybe you have a brand that you think I should try. I'm totally open for it. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you next time.